come to Science Lab. The signs are happening because Jesus is coming. Every day we are seeing some of the great signs that are happening around us. Today we are going to see some of the disastrous events that are taking place around the world. We are eruptions so fast, so earth shattering. They have changed the history of our planet. Climate collapse, toxic turmoil, mass extinction, worse than the killer asteroid or nuclear war. They are Earth's most destructive super volcanoes. North America, thousands of years ago long before humans arrived on the continent, amid the Rockies, one of the nature's great mountain building projects, vast column of smoke began to rise high into the atmosphere. And soon a smoky haze grabbed the globe, a thick blanket of ash spread over the western United States. Geologists have traced this event to a depression in the land known as Caldera in the heart of Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. Today, Yellowstone is steaming and boiling mud. All around thermal energy is under food, like a pressure cooker gathering steam. The heat escapes in an array of smoldering coal games, steam vents and hot springs like the famous Grand Prismatic. Here, superheated water rises up from deep below ground, then cools and sinks back down in a constant cycle. Geysers are powered by boiling water that moves up to constrict the channels in the rocks. When enough pressure builds steam and water escape in jet, that can blast high into the air. Alongside the Wellstone River, heat welling up from below softened the underlying rocks to such an extent that water released by rapid melting at the end of the last ice age was able to carve out one of the most spectacular river canyons in the world. Visitors to Yellowstone may never suspect they are atop one of the world's largest active volcanoes. The last time it blew, it sent an estimated 1,000 cubic kilometers of drift rocks, ash, dust, and soot into the atmosphere. It's difficult to grasp the sheer scale of that eruption, compare it to recent experience. In 1980, Mount St. Helens in USA blasted out just 2.79 cubic kilometers of ash, less than that of tenth of the percent of what Yellowstone ejected. In 1991, Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines released 10 cubic kilometers of materials along with 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide. A volcano twice that size blew up on the Indonesian island of Krakatoa in 1883. It unleashed the equivalent force of 10,000 Hiroshima bombs and tsunamis that killed 36,000 people. The same year, the Norwegian artist Edward Monk painted the screen with a sunset likely inspired by effects of smoke from Krakatoa. Clouds like blood and tongues of fire arrows hung above the blue-black fever within the city. This is Anna Krakatoa, or a child of Krakatoa, an island that has risen in the years since. It is a modest but unruly cone, maybe building again towards another big one sometime in the future. The modern standard was set by the eruption of Tambora, eight times larger than Krakatoa in 1850. If its aftermath 1816 became known as the year without summer, Crop filled and livestock died in much of the northern hemisphere, resulting in the worst famine of the 19th century. The public has long been aware of the hazards of an erupting volcano. Explosions, lava and debris flows like the one traumatized in the movie Dante's Peak. The record of recent volcanoes from Tambora to Pinatubo has added an additional global hazard. 
In these images, pictures by astronauts abroad the space shuttle, you may see the sulfurous haze that covered the Earth in Pinatubo Wake. It blocked enough sunlight to send global temperatures down by about a half a degree Celsius. Pinatubo erupted at a time when scientists had begun to use high-powered computers to model the response of Earth climates to large-scale disruption. Based on the success modeling, the circulation of particles from Pinatubo, one group sought to explore the consequences of another type eruption, limited nuclear war. They focused on India and Pakistan, two countries that were engaged in a nuclear arms race. The experiment assumed 100 Hiroshima-sized bars. The intensity of cities burning up sent over 5 million tons of smoke rising into the stratosphere. With no rain at that altitude, to bring them down, soot particles lingered for years. They absorbed for more solar radiation than the brighter sulfuric acid particles emitted by volcanoes. As a result, according to the study, global temperature dropped by 1.2 degrees Celsius equal to the year without a summer after Tambora that shortened the next growing season by 10 to 30 days resulting in widespread crop failure. Finally, in two to three years, the smoke began to clear and the climate steadily recovered. But those impacts are dropped by what would happen in the wake of a super volcano. Take the last major Yellowstone eruption thousands of years ago. Scientists at the Max Planck Institute in Germany use computer models to study its impact on Earth's climate. The virtual eruption sent up a giant cloud of ash and dust that's taken by high altitude prevailing wind. In a month's time, the cloud has spread over much of the northern hemisphere. The simulation tracks the bitter consequences. Solar radiation, Earth's surface fall off in an uneven pattern. The darkest point occurs around 18 months after the eruption, with the middle latitudes of Northern America and Europe experiencing a steep drop in sunlight. Air temperature fall to heating the lowest point at 18 months. In some places, they fell by an average of 10 degrees Celsius. That leads to the rapid growth of sea ice in the Arctic. More sea ice means that the Earth's surface reflects even more solar energy back into the space. With cooler surface, temperature rainfall level decline, and ocean and the land area retain more carbon dioxide. These factors all lead to a drop in biological productivity with food supplies lasting just weeks or days in some regions. Human populations would be subjected to serious losses. And now it's time for the trivial question of the day. Where is 
stove are located? Option A, China. Option B, Indonesia. Option C, United States. You'll find out the answer after a short break.